Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl V Queen here and I'm back with a brand new video and a brand new series. This series is how to use Zoom with NVDA. Now, a lot of you guys have been suggesting that I start this series, so that's what I'm about to do. So in this series, we will be going through all the aspects of Zoom that you guys need to know about as it relates to all the methods to join a meeting, how to schedule a meeting, how to set up your settings for Zoom, all the keyboard shortcuts that you can use, how to share screen, record, use the chat, everything like that related to Zoom. We will be going through it step by step. Before we get into it though, please be sure to like the video if you love the content, subscribe if you're new, and to turn on that notification bell to be alerted whenever I post the next video. Also note that the instrumentals for this video have been provided by Inner Sanctum Entertainment LTD. But without further ado, let's get right into it. So for those of you who didn't know, Zoom is like one of the biggest meeting platforms out there right now. One of the biggest virtual meeting platforms. It especially got very, 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 very popular in the pandemic time when everything had to go online. So we have been using Zoom since, you know, and I think that it's important for all of us to know how to join Zoom meetings, how to start Zoom meetings and how to actually navigate and perform different tasks when we are in Zoom meetings. So before we get into it, one thing I want to note that is going to help you throughout the rest of the videos, the main navigation key that we use within the Zoom application is your tab key, right? So your tab key is the main navigation key that you use in Zoom. So if you don't know where to go, you use tab. Now in today's video, we will be focusing on all the different methods to join a Zoom meeting. You can join a Zoom meeting via a link given to you by someone or via the meeting id and password or via history of meetings that you have joined in the past so we will be going through all those different methods so let's get right into it by using the first method which is joining a zoom meeting using a link so the first thing that you would want to do is to either click on the link that was sent to you to join the Zoom meeting or you can copy and paste that link in the address bar of your browser. So the link that I have here is actually copied onto my clipboard. So let me go ahead and open Google Chrome. Start window G. Google Chrome. New tab dash Google Chrome dash the. And then let's paste it in. HTTPS colons. A 05 web.zoom.us slash j slash 8965182332 p When the dialog comes up to launch the meeting, down arrow to open Zoom meetings and press enter. So let's go ahead and do that. Open Zoom meetings button one of two. Launch meeting dash connecting. Window. Connecting. Zoom meeting for you are connected to computer audio alert. In the case where this dialog doesn't come up, follow the instructions to be able to launch the meeting. And there you go. So that's how you join a Zoom meeting using a link. Now let's move on to joining a Zoom meeting using your meeting ID. First, you would want to open your Zoom desktop app. So let me go ahead and search for it. So let's press my Windows key. Start window. Then start typing Zoom. Z. Zoom app press right then i'll click enter to open it zoom window start a new meeting with video off button then you're going to tab to the join button and press enter new meeting join button join meeting window meeting id or personal link name edit blank required you should be automatically focused in an edit box that says meeting id or personal link name here you're going to type in the meeting id that you were given then press tab so I actually have my meeting ID copied to my clipboard. So I'm just going to press Ctrl V to paste it. Then I'll press tab to go to the next option. Join meeting window. Meeting history list drop down button. You will be placed on an option that says meeting history list drop down. This can be used instead of a meeting ID to rejoin a meeting that you have used in the past. To use this option, use your down arrow to expand the drop down. You can use both your up and down arrows to navigate through the items in the list. 
Once you find the one that you are looking for, press enter and Zoom will automatically put in the meeting ID for that meeting. If you used the meeting history option, once you press enter, you will automatically be placed in the enter your name field. If you chose to manually type in the meeting ID instead, like what we did, you will have to tab to this option. Enter your name edit Chenille Gale required. Here, you will enter your name that you want to be displayed in the meeting and then press tab to go to the next option. So it has in my name here already from meetings that I've joined in the past. So I'll just press tab to go to the next option. Don't connect to audio checkbox not checked. All right, so this next option is a checkbox that says don't connect to audio. If you don't want to automatically connect your audio whenever you join a meeting, you can use your spacebar to check this box. I personally like to leave it unchecked, so I'm gonna tab to the next option. Turn off my video checkbox not checked. The next option is a checkbox that says turn off my video. If you don't want to show yourself on your camera in this meeting that you're joining, use your spacebar to check this checkbox. I personally like to check this box before I join every meeting, even when video is required, just so that I have the chance to get myself ready for the camera before I turn on my camera, right? So let me use my space bar and check this box. Space. Checked. If you however want your video to be turned on automatically when you join the meeting, leave it unchecked. Then let's tab to the next option. Join button. All right, now you will be placed on the join button. So we're gonna press enter on it in order to join the meeting. Connecting. Window, you are connected to computer audio alert. You are in the meeting hosted by Chenille Gale with two participants. Optionally, if the meeting also has a password, a window will pop up prompting you to enter that password. In this case, just type in the password for the meeting, then tap to the join button and press enter. All right, so those are all the three methods of joining a meeting. But there is something that happens after you click the join button in each of those instances that I need to carry you through. So let's go through the process of what happens after you click join. Once you use any of the methods mentioned before to join a meeting, Zoom will attempt to connect you to the meeting. If you are early, you might see a message saying that the meeting has not started yet. In this case, you will have to wait until the host starts the meeting. Some hosts also enable the waiting room so that they can control which persons can join their meeting and when. If this is enabled, you will have to wait for approval from the host to enter the meeting. Next, upon entering the meeting, Zoom may prompt you to choose your audio and video settings. Choose your preferred audio option, such as computer audio or dialing in via phone. You can then choose whether to turn on your camera. So these are the possible things that will happen after you click on the join button. Remember, when you're encountered with any of these steps, the main navigation key is your tab key. Whenever you enter on a clickable item, remember that you can also use your enter key to activate it. And whenever you tab to an item that has options to choose from, you can always use your down arrow or your up arrow to choose from those options Sometimes if the down or up arrow doesn't work, the tab always works. So depending on what you encounter, always use those steps to try to overcome it. Now let's get to what happens in the meeting. After using any of these methods to join a Zoom meeting and following all the necessary protocols, you will be connected to the Zoom meeting. You will then have access to all the functionalities that Zoom has to offer. Once inside the Zoom meeting, once again, the main key that you use to navigate the interface is your tab key. Also note that the options that you have available to you in a Zoom meeting will depend on if you are the host, a co-host, or just a regular participant. Nevertheless, we will be going through all the options available to each role. Lastly, whenever you join a Zoom meeting, it's always good practice to ensure that your audio is muted. I'm sure you wouldn't want any unwanted outburst to happen from your side whenever you join a Zoom meeting. 
So that is it guys for the first video in this Zoom series, joining a Zoom meeting. Next time, we will be looking at how you can actually schedule a Zoom meeting. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and it was clear enough for you to follow. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me below in the description or via my email or the contact form on my website. Yes, on my website, my brand new website, no longer using the old URL but we are now using thequin.com. T-H-E-E-Q-U-I-N-N.com The all-in-one resource for all of my YouTube content and all the help you need. So be sure to go check out the new website if you haven't already and be sure to leave comments or to reach out to me for any suggestions for videos that you want me to do. But that is it for this video guys. Thanks again for watching. Remember to like the video if you love the content, subscribe if you're new and to turn on that notification bell to be alerted whenever I post a new video. Remember that I love you and I'll see you next time.